Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and we're going to do a comparison with the 6 Hour P320 X Compact versus the Glock 19. This is the age old argument which is better, Glock or Sig, Sig or Glock and it's created a lot of disputes over the years. But let's start with the P320 X Compact. New last year, it was a huge hit. The hottest gun in the market, in my opinion. It's got a 3.6 inch barrel, holds mags or mags that hold 15 rounds, does have a pick rail there, front serrations, night sights with an X ray 3 front dot, and then Sig Light night sights. Has a beaver tail there, very ergonomic, very nice feel to it. A flat face trigger that I'm measuring right around five pounds, and it is modular. Has a plate right there that will accept a Sig Romeo 1 Pro and a loophole Delta Point Pro. A lot of people like modular guns. I never did much with it, but I know a lot of people enjoy that. Let's see how it fires. It's a great gun. You know, a little bit smaller in barrel than the Glock 19, but it's performed excellent for me since the day I got it, and I think it's a, a nice shooter. You're looking at about $599, and that actually has decreased in the past year. It was well over $700 when it first came out, but now we've got the Glock 19. This is a Gen 4. All right, you can see the finger grooves were removed, but the Gen 4 models and the Gen 5 models have three mags they offer with 15 rounds, and it is a duty gun that people love. You know, probably the most carried gun in America is the Glock 19. Additional back straps, five and a half pound trigger. Now, you've heard me say in the past that, you know, it, the trigger weight is not always five and a half. I measured this before I came out here to make sure and it is five and a half. Looking at about 520, 530 for this model. And it also has night sights, but it came standard with the Glock sights that has the field goal. You guys know what it is. And a accessory rail right there. Four inch barrel, very reliable, uh, very accurate, much loved in America. Many people love them and a lot of Glock People will swear by the Glock 19. Now, the big advantage here is that it has the high cap mags, which are real nice, especially for times like this at the range. You can put 33 rounds in there, but also the aftermarket support is unprecedented. Glock enjoys the best aftermarket support than any other handgun company that I'm aware of and probably will continue. Many of their newer models are optic ready. This one is not, but in regard to this comparison, go ahead and compare it to one that's optic ready. It doesn't, doesn't matter to me. I just want to know what your thoughts are as to which company makes the better handgun. Let's go ahead and shoot the Glock 19. Ooh, a little light. It didn't eject, that's what happened. And a, and a rather lame uh, it, removal of that case on my part. And that's that. Many people will say that, hey, Glock, uh, you know, they never fail. Well, that one did eject. Is it a big deal? No, but that goes to show you that anything that's mechanical, anything that's man-made, it will and can and most likely We'll see a failure eventually. Uh, not a big deal, could be ammo. Nonetheless, we have the Glock 19 that has the four inch barrel, the P320 X Compact with the 3.6 inch barrel. That's what we're looking at. What are my thoughts? Well, I think that with a Glock, most people get all these aftermarket parts. And, and I said, that's what Glock enjoys, but also, it costs a ton of money. You're looking at about 520, 534 for this model. You're looking at about 599 for this. This has everything that you need. You know, the night sights, the modularity, the flat trigger, you don't need to add anything, in my opinion. Very seldom do you hear anybody adding anything to the P320 models other than a red dot. And here, 
you do have to add a bunch of other stuff to make it, in my opinion, equivalent to this. Now, in regard to longevity, I'm calling it a draw, but if I had to choose one, I'm sticking with the Sig Sauer P320 X Compact. What I want to know is, which one do you feel is a better handgun? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.